In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new reference image AI feature in Photoshop. I'm going to start by making my selection. In this photo, I'm going to select the woman's straw hat, and I want to change this to a pink bucket hat. Also a quick tip, if you don't want this contextual taskbar following you around the screen and hiding your image, click the three dots and click pin bar position. You can move it later, but this will keep it in one place. Once we've made our selection from this taskbar, we're going to select generative fill. From here, you should see the reference image icon to the right of the text field. It's that little image with the arrow. Click that, then click choose image to upload your reference photo. I already have my reference image downloaded, so I'm going to select that and click open. You can actually type in a prompt to pair with the reference image, but I'm not going to do that for this example. I'm just going to let Photoshop generate based on the reference image that I'm giving it. So I'll go ahead and click generate. Here in the bottom right, you can see all of the variations that it has generated. These are all pretty good, but I'm going to select my favorite one and then I can go ahead and delete the other variations using that trash can icon to make our file size a little bit smaller. You can go ahead and save, and that is how to use the new reference image AI feature in Photoshop. Subscribe for more tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next one.